everybody, welcome back to our channel. As you just heard, I'm not really saying Rich Back Rations because me and Max talked about it and we've decided that we're going to change the name of the channel. So if you do look at the channel name probably right now, we are now called by my name. So the channel is now called Cecilia Hinson and the reason is because we wanted to keep the content a little bit wider than just creating Harry Potter DIYs and we just felt that the name was kind of restricting the creative flow of our content so we hope you guys stick around and we're not gonna completely stop making Harry Potter DIYs we just feel that sometimes we do want to make other things or other type of videos so that's that update and yeah it does look like I'm in an interrogating room right now because we had a photo shoot for the new banner or the new little picture of me. <laughs> Feels very narcissistic. <laughs> but anyways back to the video. second time in this video this week's project we're going to make stockings inspired by the houses in harry potter and they're quite small so but you can of course make it any size that you want and without any more babbling since i already did that quite a lot let's get started the beginning of this project I just made a quick little sketch of a stocking on a piece of A4 paper. The reasoning they're so small is because I didn't really buy enough trimming the gold and silver one that you'll see later. So I kind of had to make really tiny stockings in order to have enough. So but of course if you have more of some materials than other you can of course change the size of the stockings and it's really up to you. I think this project is very much a project that's good to be I don't know, having a creative flow where you just do whatever you want to do, you don't really have to follow what I'm doing at all. For my stockings, I really wanted a diamond pattern, so I did print out something that I just found on Google because it was easier to trace straight lines when I had something to look at. And my ruler was really handy to have, but my little chalkboard pencil it was pretty shit, didn't really see the chalks. I just really had to dig it into the fabric so I would see the lines afterwards, but it did work in the end, kinda. And then for the thread, I used gold and silver. And just let me tell you, using gold or silver thread on a machine it's awful. You didn't. You, you don't want to do that. It just kept breaking on me, jamming the machine. I had to re-thread the machine probably like 20 times per sock and it was just so frustrating in the end i was just tossing the socks everywhere in the room i was like i'm giving up i don't want to do this anymore i don't wish this upon anyone but i pulled through which i'm happy about but the thing is that you can't really see the pattern or the detail of the thread at all anyways because the thread is so t thin that i'm not sure it was worth the time that I spent on it, but you learn something along the way. The trimming that I bought had this piece of cloth on it or piece of fabric that made it really easy to stick onto the sides on the stocking. So I've just taken the reverse sides out so that what's going to be the outside of the stocking is currently on the inside. But yeah, I just pinned the trimming onto it and I did cut some small pieces on it so it was easier to bend it on the curves of the sock. I was just making sure that the fabric was laying pretty evenly. The green and the blue sock had a really soft fabric while the red and the yellow one had a pretty stiff furniture fabric because they didn't really have all four colors in the same material so it was very different to work with the two different materials and I'm not sure I liked any of them but there you go so I was just really making sure that I was sewing along the trim as close as the trim as possible and if you have time I do recommend probably 
sewing this by hand because with the machine is really easy for it to go a little bit uneven or that you accidentally actually stitch right over the actual trim. So a lot of this would probably be easier just using your hands but by the time I figured out the amount of work that I would have to do I was just sticking with the machine. Here I'm casually just holding the socks so you can't see all the mistakes that I did, so just don't mind me. Here I'm just sipping my tea and realizing how much work I still have left. But I think sometimes it's good to just stick with what you're doing and do not give up because you will get some work done even though it feels like it's taking forever. Since my stockings are so tiny, it was kind of hard to actually add on the fur and decorated trimming on top. So I actually had to do a lot of this by hand. Max did even help me out a little bit by stitching some of them off cam. But it took, like, it took forever with the fur and the fur was getting into your stitches and it was just a little pain in the buttocks. And let me tell you, this fur gets everywhere. I'm still breathing small little white specks of fluff. So I'm expecting them to be gone from my nose sometime in February. For the socks, I felt like I was kind of cheating because I used this really beautiful ribbon that was matching all the different socks. Well, kind of matching. I had red, blue and black, so I just used black for the green and the yellow stocking and I felt that it was kind of cheating because the ribbon made it look a lot much like I think it improved the stockings quite a bit but I didn't really make it myself so I don't know felt it was a little bit cheaty but it's it's the end result that counts I guess It's hard for me to explain in detail what I'm doing all the time because I guess for me this comes pretty natural for everyone that's a little bit familiar with sewing things. But anyways, final step for the socks was just to add on some ribbons so that you can hang up the stockings. I don't know, sure if you want to hang them up because I don't know. I was <laughs> My stockings were a lot cuter in my mind than what they came out to be, especially since the silver and gold kind of disappeared on me completely. But if you look at them from afar and if you have dimmed Christmas lighting, I guess they look really cute. So we'll stick with that. No lights on this house until January. So. <laughs> So these are the finished stockings. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always if you want to see more content like this make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and until next time thank you so much for watching.